Hello there guys, this is PokeZLot64, coming at you with my first Let's Play, Pokemon Hard Gold version. Alright, so uh, let's get started. Um, it's just going to ask you if any setting changes, stuff like that. And we can get into the game. <sighs> huh? What? It's already that late? Oh no, I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? We are a boy. Name... We'll just go with um, my first name, Chris. Why, yes it is, sir. Chris, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. I still love that sequence. The sequence is so cool. Alright, so um, we're in our house. Um, I just found this out actually a little bit ago. If you just go in your computer and look here... This is from your friend Lyra. It says, Adventure, excited, I love Pokemon. And then has a picture of Meryl. So, I guess her Pokemon is a Meryl that she got. When you come downstairs, which you really have no other options to do, you run into your mom. And uh, she tells you that Lyra was just here, and then she was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. See, called it right on the nose. And, um, she says the Professor Elm, who's our acquaintance from next door, wants to see us. And, um, but first we need to make sure we have everything. And, um, on the bottom of the screen, which, um, you don't see, just pops up some of the stuff that you get basic, which is your bag, your trainer card, your save button, and then your options. So Marla just bumps into you, looks at you, and then kind of just runs away. Yeah, don't say hi or nothing. Yeah, just just go. All right then. So off to Professor Elm's house, but um, who is this? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? He 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 just punted me. That that hurt. That was mean. Hi, Chris. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. Before the Pokeballs invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? Well, that was a mouthful. <laughs> the device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Alright, so um, he gets an email. Looks like it's from um, Mr. Pokemon. How original. And um, saying that He's got some sort of egg, and we need to go over there and talk to him about it. So, just go over to this machine. And you can touch your Pokeball to see what's inside. There's three Pokeball on the bottom screen. Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Chikorita. 
Now, I um, don't necessarily know which Pokemon I was going to get, but I think I've decided to do Chikorita. Because, um, basically, Chikorita is the hard way to take on this game. Um, Cyndaquil is taking the easy route, and Totodile is taking the middle ground. Now, in one of my LPs in the past on, on um, my first channel... I had a Chikorita who I named Fiesta so I decided I would name it Fiesta Fiesta is the name how do you like walking with your Pokemon it's not bad is it you could take it all the way to mr. Pokemon's house if your Pokemon gets hurt you should heal with this machine it's so easy to use just check the PC on my desk Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove. Go a little, or go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Chris. All right, so we're off. This guy's gonna stop us, and um, he is going to give us some potions to help us along with our Pokemon journey. And. Here is Lyra. Chris, so you picked a Chikorita. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should you should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Now that's not just a suggestion, cause this game like pulls you by the throat and says, "Talk to your mom." Cause if you don't, some lady will come run up to you and be like, "We should go talk to your mom." So we'll just get that out of the way right now. Oh, Chris, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a test for you, you say. What kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when Pokemon makes the kind of request... When someone makes the a request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your poker here came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Alright, so another button on the bottom screen. And, um, that's all good, too. I remember how. And she'll just tell us anyway, so, whatever. Alright, so now we're off. What now? Wait one second. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Yeah, an old man giving a little child his telephone number. That can't be menacing at all. I'll call you if anything comes up. Alright. Now we're off on a Pokemon journey. So, um... If you've never played Pokemon before, um, which I don't know why you wouldn't have, it's like one of the biggest things right now. Um, Pokemon appear in this wild grass, so, and it's kind of unavoidable at this first route. But I'm just heading back to go grab an item. And uh, some of the Pokemon you can find out here are Pidgeys and Rattatas, um, two of the more basic Pokemon um, in this game. Um, they're pretty okay Pokemon I gotta say so I'm gonna grab another potion that was right over here that I just happened to know was over there unfortunately we might be we might be running into a couple of Pokemon over this little venture over the grass here Alright then. Safe and sound from there. Actually, gotta go over this way. Already getting ahead of myself. So, as you can see, Pokemon battles can get kind of annoying at the beginning of the game. I just really don't care for any of these Pokemon that are in this area. Um, there's also some Pokemon up in this area 
Mm, um, I don't really care for any there either. That guy has nothing important to say. And yeah, um, I'm actually really glad to get a fresh start. Um, I wanted to give my thanks to Mr. Ragetastic96, a very good friend of mine, um, for helping me with my background and icon, which are both fantastic. And um, now we enter Cherry Grove City. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I could teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me. I, I hate how this game just doesn't let you answer. That just kind of irks me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. This is the Pokemon Center. They try to heal you in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and useful items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. See, as you can see, some Pokemon are only found in water. Thank you for all this quote unquote useless information, or useful, bleh. Here, it's my house. For you keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. Alright, so we get the running shoes from the guide gent. It's kind of a silly name. You just hold the B button down in the sprint. And um, one more thing I will um, do before we depart uh, from this episode is just run up here. And uh, you will see the old man come up again and be like, fuff, fuff, I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. So he's going to load the map card up to my Pokey Gear, which um, is the town map function that's used in pretty much all of the Pokemon games, I'm pretty sure. Which is very helpful um, if you don't know where to go or if you're lost for some reason. So here, let me just go and um, actually not that function. Uh, Poke here, and I could just go to the map function, and you could you can't really see it actually. We just tell you the descriptions. Unfortunately, I kind of forgot about that. But guys, it looks like this is where we're going to depart for today. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been PokeZLot64, and I will see you next time. Bye.